I love a challenge. I love the idea of going after something that on day one seems absolutely impossible, but when paired with a high demand of baby steps, creates something unattainable. That's something that cannot be done without hours and hours of micro movements. These movements or puzzle pieces trialed and errored over and over to one day come together. By doing this thing over and over frequently, you start to get better, and dare I even say, enjoying it along the way. A challenge is an objection or query as to the truth of something, often with implicit demand for proof. Look, life is a challenge, a cornucopia of puzzle pieces. The game is ripe for your picking. But all too often, however, that demon in our mind gets in the way. That negative Nancy cruises down the street in her 6'4". That veto of your positive mind is cancer, and it's going to kill your growth. I can, I will, I am the man. Positive affirmations, that's what these are. And I need you to capitalize on these positive affirmations to taunt back at the demon saying you won't and that you can't. That demon will slide back into its cave, I promise you. Now, I've never heard of the term positive affirmations until I was reading Jen Sincero's book, How to Be a Badass, but it makes sense, and I've always lived that way. The more you believe, the more you will, and the more the demon will go away. These simple words have a huge impact on you. I will. Let's paint a picture. It was the year 2018. I was looking through my bucket list, and I was reminded of a fitness-related task. And since I had been hard working out every single day that year, it seemed like a solid one to go after. Especially since the other race I had performed in was rough. That race was always in my mind. I didn't put in the time to really compete. I finished, but I should have been much more prepared. You see, bucket list items need to be checked off, not just the list of won't do's. I'm actually terrified to commit to it. Scared as crap, I signed up for an Ironman race. A mixture of swimming, biking, and running. 70.3 total miles. And 10 months later, after thousands of miles of training, I crossed the finish line. I fell in absolute love with the Ironman community. It's hard to explain, but it's the most positive place on earth. The race was difficult, but during it, I realized I had a very strong weakness running. If I ever wanted to get better at this craft, triathlon, Ironmans, running was going to be my kryptonite. I had to work on running. So let me be the first to say that I loathe, I hate, I'm disgusted, and every negative word possible at running. Gross. It's not fun. But I knew that I could get better. So for the past few months, I've worked more on running than other disciplines. And now it's time for another serious challenge. 26.2 miles. The more difficult things we do in life, the more challenges we tackle, the more challenges we go after, the stronger we will become. Kelly Clarkson was onto something. What doesn't kill us does make us stronger. Challenges are supposed to be hard. So, I will be doing the one city marathon in Newport News March 1st of 2020. Why? Because I want to challenge myself. What are you challenging yourself to accomplish? And what are you doing to tackle that challenge?